Scottish actor Sam Hewitt has wowed in his role as Jamie Frazier in the hit star show Outlander in recent years, and it has recently been announced that the talented 42-year-old has a new gig. And if reports are anything to go by, his new show is set to be a lot different to Outlander. Today, we are discussing how he doesn't sound anything like Jamie Fraser in his new series, Suspect. Stay tuned. First up, let's take a quick look at Hewan's career so far. Hewan is a 20-year veteran of TV and and film and bagged his first role while still studying at the Royal Scottish Academy of Music and Drama, now the Royal Conservatoire of Scotland, in 2001. The role was a small part in a short film called Small Moments, but it gave Hewan a taste of acting and what was to come. Named after the character of Sam in Lord of the Rings, Hewan focused on theater whilst at school, taking part in plays such as Crime and Punishment and Romeo and Juliet. His big break came on the PBS show Island at War as Philip Door, which ushered in roles on a slew of BBC, Channel 4, and ITV shows in the UK. A stint in film then beckoned for Hewan as he bagged the role of Alexander in Young Alexander the Great, before he tested for the role of Jamie Fraser on Outlander, which has arguably made the Scott a household TV name, at least in the UK. The show has brought with it a ton of awards nominations for Hewan, bagging Best Actor on a television series at the Saturn Awards in 2019, as well as many other awards awards and nominations. And it seems his career is only going from strength to strength. As we know, he has just landed the role of Ryan in the upcoming English adaptation of the Danish series For He Ha, known as Suspect in English. What have you made of Hewan's career so far? Next up, what about his new role on Suspect? Thanks to a break in filming of Outlander season 6 last year due to Katrina Balfe's pregnancy, Hewan decided to use his newfound downtime to his advantage, filming a new series. The show, Suspect began filming last October and Hewan actually featured in the trailer. But fans of Outlander will have been surprised to hear what came out of Hewan's mouth, as the accent most definitely was not Scottish. Of course, given that he isn't playing Jamie Fraser, fans might have expected a slightly different accent, but they probably weren't prepared for an English one. We're still not exactly sure about the ins and outs of the character of Ryan, whom Hewan will be playing in his new role, but we do know that he is an Englishman. We deciphered this all on our own just by listening to him in the trailer. Clever, right? Hewan, or Ryan, can be heard warning another character, don't go sticking your nose into things that are best left well alone. Hewan also shared the clip with his legions of adoring fans on Twitter, with some commenting on the vastly different accents between Jamie and Ryan. Most fans were excited for him, and one said that they can't wait to see it, whilst others congratulated him for bagging the role, which will see him working with British acting royalty such as James Nesbitt and Richard E. Grant. Congratulations, Sam. Will you be checking this one out? What do we know about Suspect then? Stay tuned and all will be revealed. Well, as we know, the series is the latest in a long line of shows that have been adapted from Scandinavian crime dramas, following on from shows such as The Killing and The Bridge, Don't Bother with the American Remake, and this one follows Detective Danny Freighter, who, whilst visiting the mortuary to take part in a routine ID of a body, realizes that the body is the that of his own daughter. He is told that his daughter has taken her own life, but of course refuses to accept the prognosis. The pair are estranged, but Freighter has a feeling that something is afoot and proceeds to investigate her movements in the lead up to her death. The official synopsis for the Channel 4 drama reads, he is forced to confront his own failings as a father while struggling to make sense of a mass of contradictory testimony and circumstantial evidence, and he must decide who, if anyone, is responsible for Christina's death and what he's going to do about it. And whilst we know the basic premise of the show, we're not entirely sure where our old pal Hewan fits in. Could he be the killer? Cue the dramatic music. There is no word on when this one will drop just yet, but we can probably expect it to be at the end of this year or early next year. Will you be tuning in? Next up, Hewan and co-star Balf have been talking about Outlander Season 7. Stay tuned. As we know, Season 6 was cut short due to Balfe's pregnancy, but the new season has promised to deliver 16 drama-filled episodes to make up for last season's short run. And Sam Hewitt, as well as Katrina Balfe, who play our favorite couple, Jamie and Claire, on the hit show, have been discussing Season 7 recently, claiming that there is a lot going on. They have also revealed that there will be some new faces when the show rolls around for the 7th 
seventh installment, which will excite fans to no end. Hewan and Balf have both been spotted recently filming the new episodes in Scotland, with Balf revealing that filming for the first block of episodes is almost done. She said, We have some amazing actors that have come in. I don't know what we can say. Usually we get a list of don't say this and don't say that, but nobody said anything. Maybe we can just say everything right now. Of course, she stopped short of naming names and discussing roles, but she did go on to suggest that some of the loose ends will finally be tied up when the new season drops, explaining that we will then have a lot of new characters join that are going to be very meaningful to the series. All of this is very exciting for Outlander fans, and some new blood is never a bad thing when shows return. What direction do you want to see Season 7 head in? Sam has recently been taking part in a charity event. Stay with us to hear about it. Hewan recently thanked fans for all the fantastic support he received whilst taking part in his latest charity outing. He took part in the Gentleman's Ride last week, which aims to raise money for prostate cancer research and men's mental health programs by riding around his nation's capital of Edinburgh. Of course, the event takes place at sites across the world, but Sam limited his appearance to the Edinburgh Ride, and he also took to Instagram shortly after it to thank his fans for all the support. He posted a photo of himself, decked out in some pretty sharp threads, riding a Triumph motorcycle, along with the caption, throwback to last week's At Gentleman's Ride. He also went on to acknowledge fans and their donations, saying, a huge thank you to everyone that sponsored me for this great cause. There's still time to donate, if you can. Overwhelmed by the support and very thankful. And fans wasted no time in praising the star for his contributions to the charities, with one thanking him for all he does to make this world a better place. Of course, both charities are worthy causes, and it is great to see someone in the public eye using their celebrity status to draw attention to things like this. Well done, Sam. Which charities are close to your heart? Let us know below. And finally, he's been spotted dining out in his native Scotland. Sam was spotted dining out recently at the Kitchen in Leith, owned by celebrity chef Tom Kitchen. But all wasn't quite as it seemed, as he was actually filming a scene with his close friend Graham McTavish for their Men in Kilt show. Apparently, the guys have just returned from filming in New Zealand, but Kitchen took to Twitter to share some behind-the-scenes snaps of the upcoming show. Kitchen was seen with his cooking whites on, sitting opposite Sam and Graham, and captioned the picture with, I thought I must share some behind-the-scenes shots from when we had these great guys at Sam Hewen and at Graham McTavish here at the kitchen filming Men in Kilts at Men in Kilts stars hashtag stars. He then went on to tell fans how much fun filming with Sam and Graham was, whilst also commenting on how great it was that visitors are now back in Edinburgh after the COVID pandemic. And we would wholeheartedly echo that sentiment. After a brutal couple of years, it now seems as though things are somewhat back to normal, which at one point seemed as if it would never happen. Are you guys Men in Kilts fans? As usual, thanks for stopping by today, and remember to join us again next time for some more fun and games. And why not do us a favor by sharing today's video, whilst also subscribing to our channel so you don't miss out on more great bits and pieces in the near future. Bye, guys.